we're moving forward on a range of rapid testing kits, both from here in Canada and internationally. This includes Ottawa-based Spartan Bioscience, who will soon be supplying tens of thousands of kits per month and potentially more as production increases. It's about the size of a coffee cup and it could help hospitals and assessment centers detect COVID-19 in less than an hour. We're learning more about a new portable testing device that's being touted as a possible game changer here in Canada. With our test, the way it works is you take the swab, put that swab into the test cartridge, you put it into this portable DNA analyzer, and then you get your results in less than an hour. So for all those people who don't live in Toronto or a big city, let's say you're in a smaller town, you're in a remote community, or you're in an indigenous community, this is how you can get rapid results. It's called the Spartan Cube, and the Ottawa-based company that developed it calls it the smallest DNA analyzer in the world. Spartan says the provinces of Ontario and Alberta have placed orders, and the federal government has plans to receive 40,000 of the tests a month, and the device will stay local. We've been bombarded daily with requests from foreign governments, from foreign corporations to get access to our supply. But we've turned down all of these orders. And the reason is because we know there's a global shortage of COVID-19 tests. And so we decided to prioritize Canada first. Lem says the Spartan Cube was already developed pre-COVID, but adapted using CDC testing guidelines once the virus started to spread. This is our proprietary swab. We actually manufacture it in Ottawa. So we're not subject to those global shortages of swabs. And so for the Health Can approval we receive, you can either take a swab from the front of the nose or from your throat. So it's not like the other swabs where you got to stick it all the way to the back of your nose, which is really uncomfortable. We asked Spartan about possible privacy concerns with their device. They say that only viral DNA is analyzed, not the patient's DNA, and the sample is then discarded. Lem tells us that testing could be happening in certain areas of Canada within the next few weeks. Tammy Sutherland, City News.